So take off the helm so we can see in the dark again. Get your stamina back. What did we get? Why is it all red? Is it just because it's raw? Why is it color-coded red? It wasn't before. I thought color-coded red meant you couldn't eat something. I guess it's just because it's raw. Anyway, we'll take the meat and fat. And we'll leave. We'll take the bones as well. I guess. And that's it. Yes, we're all scroll down to see the flags. It'll probably tell you. Hmm. Nope. It just says, uh, it conducts, why does meat conduct electricity? That's odd. Okay. Or wait, was that not red? No, it was red. We'll check the meat as well. It's raw. Okay. And will be more nutritious if cooked. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I figured it was just because it was raw. But there is a meat intolerance in the game, and I didn't think I'd taken it. And I'm used to seeing red things for my lactose intolerance as a food allergy. So, surprised me a little bit. High water content and salt. Yeah, I mean, I guess fat would conduct electricity. It's just definitely not something I've ever really thought about. For sure. I don't spend my days thinking about, uh... I guess the human body can d conducts electricity, right? Anyway, let's throw these in our, in our freezer. Hmm, everything is frozen, which is good. It has, I, I'm a little concerned that some of this is just listed as cold instead of being frozen. Specifically, all this meat that's been in here for days. I'm not sure why it's not frozen yet. Uh, we'll check the engine as well to make sure that our batteries are still going. But, yeah. So throw the meat in there. Not the cans, please. We can hang on to the cans. How, uh, it is the mini freezer, so it is, should be charging. Freezer's still on. How's our battery going? Fantastic. Our battery is very well charged. Not a concern at all. We do have quite a hefty amount of gasoline as well, so we don't exactly need to worry about that. We can just run the engine. Let's, uh, drop some of this food here. Keep the helm. Everything else can get dropped. I just brought that harness for Kevlar. I would like to take a look at my guns here quickly so we would be trading both glocks we have a lot of guns how much are all of you worth because I'd like to make a shopping trip over to the hub and see if we can just buy a bunch of CBMs twenty dollars seven fifty I mean it is a twenty two I guess still a gun though twenty two dollars twenty five dollars $20. So a fair bit. I think I would hang on to the Glock 19 because it's good to have a 9 mil gun because 9 mil is so common. In fact, we have 120 rounds for it. In fact, we maybe ought to make a holster and carry the Glock with us just for emergencies. Uh, although it's a Glock, it's not going to do a whole lot for us. We also need more 223 ammunition because the AR is going to be like the only rifle we really have at the moment so it's a little bit tricky to 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 dismiss the AR as not being important I don't really know what else I would trade them though are knives worth anything they're so common 50 cents yeah I don't know what else I would take what's like a high value thing to take probably the multi tools worth a lot five dollars it's a multi tool um so I don't know what else I could take to just throw at them for cash. Do filthy items have the same trade value? Twelve fifty for a filthy knapsack or rucksack versus eight seventy five for a damaged one. I mean, we could dump some of these more valuable clothing bits. MREs are fifteen bucks. That's weirdly expensive for what is basically not very many calories. Also pretty common on soldier zombies. So that's interesting. We could we could take some stuff over there. Well, it's raining here, so my internet connection is going to be dead. If I'm lucky, I will stay. Hey, I mean, it is what it is. If you can't stay, you can't stay. That's okay. So I think since it's nighttime and I don't really have anything to do, is a balaclava worth, <laughs> worth anything? 50 cents. I mean, we could take them up there because they're junk. And just sell them. 
25 cents for a fish hook. That seems silly high, given that a nail is worth like 4 cents and it takes literally like no time at all to convert them to fish hooks. But we'll take a bunch of our junk up there and see what we can get. So give me the SIG, the 22, the 40, the, the, we'll take the magazine as well. And I mean, you can have steak knives, why not? What was the other thing I said? Multi-tool is not really worth very much. Uh, you know, I don't need the ice axe. Are you worth anything? Five bucks? Sure, we'll take that. Um, sponge is 10 cents. No, I'm good. What was the other thing? There was something else. Do you want a fire extinguisher? 50 cents? No, thank you. Uh, let's write clothing. So we'll give them the busted rucksack for a couple bucks. I don't really want to give you my MREs. I kind of like MREs. But you can have... No, we'll keep those as well. We do have a lot of medication. How much is an inhaler worth? Seven fifty. Absolutely, you can have both of those. How much is weed? Fifty cents. So based on just looking through my pile of garbage that I don't really care about, you can pretty easily rack up a fair amount of sale uh, of uh, of money just by trading some like random stuff that you don't actually care about, like a significant amount of money. Barter value is 20 bucks on a stack of calcium tabs. I mean, they don't even have a purpose in the game at the moment. Anyway, oh, we have excess books as well, I didn't think about. 50 cents. 250. I mean, they're not worth very much. 50 cents. Yeah, I guess because they're so common. I don't know. This is probably boring to watch, huh? I really wish I had something to talk about. So. Uh, streaming, yes, so I uh, would like to stream a little bit more this week because I have nothing going on tomorrow. I still don't know what to stream. I don't have anything set up that's easy to stream. It's mostly just um, WoW is the only thing I've tested that I know runs okay. So I'm not super thrilled about that because I don't think people want to watch that. And I really don't want to keep streaming Cataclysm every single day, basically. But, uh, I don't know. Try to sort something out. Maybe I won't stream. Maybe I'll work on more YouTube-exclusive content. Today, Yesterday, I had the day off from streaming. So I spent the day creating um, NPC faction guides. I did two episodes of... Well, I'm not going to say the name because it's spoilers. But it's a couple episodes of a different NPC faction in the game. They were short episodes, really, 10 minutes and 20 minutes, but, uh, you know, you figure that's 30 minutes of recording, probably like 45, 50 minutes of recording video, and then like three hours of editing to make those two videos. So it like ate up my whole evening yesterday uh, because I'm trying to edit things more instead of just putting out the same Let's Play content over and over and over. Because I don't think people like that. Let's, uh, before we do this, let's unload our guns so I can keep the ammo. Uh, I don't really care about the clips, but I would like to keep the ammunition. And yeah, are any of the other items containing things? Doesn't look like it. So we'll just sell all this garbage. Okay, let's trade. So I've been doing some of the NPC guide stuff. 94, I thought it said it was like 30 bucks. Why is it $94? Uh, also, why do I have a credit? I thought uh, factions don't do credits. And why do you have so many Hubbo One coins? I thought you don't spawn those until after I've completed your quest. Interesting. Uh, you know what we could do is hang on to the PPQ and just buy the ammo they have for it. Because it's better than the 9 mil we have back at base. Let's do that. You can have these. You can have the extended magazine. You can have... You can't have that clip. That's going to be my clip. You have the 22 clip. We're going to keep the ammo. You can have an ice axe. Uh, I think I'm wearing... Why is it displaying what I'm wearing? I thought it didn't display what you're wearing. Anyway, OPQRSTU. 
Keep the binoculars. You can have the rucksack. Um, yes, I'm trying to do more with the faction camps. I don't know if people are going to watch it or not. I found that basically those episodes have not been doing very well. Uh, I uploaded the hub faction guide and people didn't really seem to respond very much to that at all. And I don't know if it's because like I did something wrong. Maybe it's just because people don't care about the hub. Maybe people have seen the hub so much at this point that it's just not something that interests them. I really don't know what the uh, exact reasoning is, but it's definitely a bummer to, to put a bunch of editing into something and be like, Man, this is going to be popular uh, with my, you know, with my viewers, and then you find out like, nah, they really didn't care about it that much. Um, you know, nothing against. Obviously, watch whatever you want. You know, you don't have to watch anything if you don't enjoy it. But like, oh, I just thought it would be be a little bit better than it was. So we want to buy CBMs, I think. Oh, you you only have one CBM for sale. Oh. Uh, well, that sucks. Um, we, if I don't buy the ammo, do I have enough? I don't have enough for the storm. What if I sold page up? What if I sell the 40? 319, we're still shy of buying the storm. I would like to buy the storm because we have so much 9 mil and it's a pretty decent rifle. I didn't bring anything else to sell. Hmm, I can't afford... I can't afford it. That's okay. So, give me the gun back. No. Give me... You can have that. Give me this gun back. Give me the clip back. And then on your screen, I want the ammo. So, give me the ammo. Could start a poll or something. I mean, I think that... Every time I bring something up about my content, people always say, you should do that, I would watch that. But then when I actually do it and I put it up on the channel, there's like four people who watch it. So I feel like people say that they would watch things. So I, the way I think of it is like, if I say, hey guys, should I play Project Zomboid, right? There are gonna be a bunch of people who come out and because they wanna support me and they wanna do whatever I want, you know, they're going to be like, yeah, you should play Project. Absolutely, it's a good game. Have fun. You play what you want. And then if I put up Project Zomboid, I'm going to get like nine views. And I'm going to be like, okay, well, this did one fifteenth of what my Cataclysm content would do. And people said they were going to watch this. So imagine if I pick something I want to play and then nobody wants. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not... People will say that people want to support you, right? So they want you to do whatever you want, but they don't actually want to sit down and, and guarantee watching something. So it's, I don't think polling is super relevant. I, I think I'm just going to take the hub coins because they only have two CBMs at the moment. And I do want to unload this stuff. And if we get it in hub coin form, it's just an easy portable currency that's worth a fair bit. I do think we're going to lose some value in the trade. Yes. So now if I trade with them, oh, I see it does maintain our credit. So I didn't necessarily need to buy the hub coins, but uh, that's something. And we'll continue bringing our junk up here because that's going to save us from having a lot of clutter and we can get a lot of value out of this place. I understand murder people are complicated. You know, I watch almost everything. Yeah, a lot of people, I would say, We'll check out like the first episode, but once you get into like episode four, a lot of people drop off. And there's always that core group who watch basically everything that I do. Those people are my bread and butter, you know, the people who come back regardless of content. And I think that ultimately it kind of makes sense because I'm the same me in every video. So there are always going to be people who are here for the game you're playing. And then there are going to be people who are here for me, right? And so I think that that's an easy way to differentiate those people. Uh, because the people who are here for the streamer, they will show up for basically anything. Oh man, am I getting hoarse. Maybe check out Griftlands. So I've, I've seen Griftlands. I played a very brief amount of Griftlands. Did not enjoy that. I didn't like the idea. I like deck builders a lot. 
Uh, but apparently I don't like the idea of like diplomacy through a card game. I like more like when it's monsters fighting things and stuff like that. Um, so we got our ammo. We got some CBMs. Not good ones, but they're better than nothing. And we got some cash. And I forgot to sell the fish hooks. So, okay. That's fine. So we'll drop this stuff on our pile. Oh, also the balaclava. I didn't see balaclava in the list. Or steak knives. Interesting. We'll try to sell them to them in the future. Drop the 357. Let's reload this pistol. No. Do the clip first. It's only a 10 round clip. Okay. And then reload the gun. So now we have a gun with a pretty hefty ammo reserve that we can carry on us. Can we craft a holster? You could try to sell the cyborg. Oh, the... the Where did I murder that robot? It was in the base, right? Did I put it here? Uh, I'm sure it's worth something. I don't know if I'd be able to haul it out there very easily. Where did I put that corpse? You know me, always misplacing my corpses. What are you going to do? Uh, man, it's a big... We should definitely sort this at some point in the future as well. So we don't have to scroll through like nine pages of stuff. Okay, he doesn't appear to be there. I thought I killed him inside. Doesn't look like... Oh, oh no, that's not the robot. We're, uh... We'll look in the daylight when I can actually... S oh, wait, he was deeper in the base. I walked all the way over here. Was shooting him. He's not on this pile? Here he is. Okay, so if we look at this guy, he's worth exactly nine cents. So, very, very valuable. Highly, highly valuable. Um, if we, we do have a soldering iron, we can take apart the... Can I look at its deconstruction? Because I guarantee it's worth more if we take it apart. Um, if we took it apart, it would take two hours and require a 20 charge soldering iron, and some other tools, uh, and we would get solder, AI core, sensor array, mem I guarantee those items are worth minimally nine cents, so at least we're going to get that amount, but I'm willing to bet some of these are quite valuable, uh, especially to the hub. Well, I mean, I don't think uh, money is based on what faction you're talking to, but from a role play perspective, the hub would obviously really want robot parts, so that's something we might do in the future. Uh, thanks for reminding me of that. I'm gonna pull the corpse out of here. Can I just pull the body? So I can see it all the time, so I'll remember that next time we go. And again, we're not gonna go back for a day or two until their, their stock refreshes. But at least we got some cash. So, can I make a holster? I can't. <sighs> that would be tailoring, surely. We're at tailoring three. I don't really want to spend time grinding tailoring. Let's uh, sort our base. I'm kind of tired of looking at this big pile. So let's set up. Well, food and drink are broken, right? So we don't need food or drink piles. Let's make a book pile. Put that right here. Let's make a tools pile. Put that, sure, over here. Uh, drug pile so we can separate our medical supplies. Put them over here. We'll do guns pile. I don't think we're going to move. I, I was tempted to just pack up and move again, but I think that would be a dumb thing to do. We go magazines and put that on our ammo pile. That should do for right this second. Go ahead and sort those things out. Oh, need to make an unsorted zone. I can't wait till they fix the food and drink thing with this sort menu. It's something I got really used to using and now trying to do things manually really, really sucks. I hadn't heard about food and drink zones being broken, what do they do? So basically you can set up food piles or perishable food piles, for example, and then when you sort things out, in fact, I'll do it really quick. We'll just set up a food pile. Basically, since the container changes came, we'll put food up here. Um, it's not sorting items that are inside of containers. Nope, that's the wrong, that's the wrong pile. So if you have, let's say, a drink, a drink is always inside of a container, so it won't put it in your drink pile. It would put it in the container pile, which is not helpful. So we'll sort. 
and you'll see it sorted a bunch of stuff, but the items that are inside boxes, for example, are not gonna be put on this list. So we find our food. Uh, here we can see really quickly, spaghetti pasta, fruit pies, flour, oatmeal, etc. They're all in cardboard boxes, therefore they can't be sorted into the food pile. They can only be sorted into the container pile. So obviously, not being able to sort all your food and drink is, uh, is a bummer, is a bummer. Is this experimental? I haven't had the issue on stable. Yes, yeah, so stable is, I'm, well, at this point, like two months old. So experimental, we had an update with nested containers. They're, those are things in the game now. And yeah, I play on uh, current experimental basically all the time, unless I find that there's a bug that's like eating your saves or something, then I won't update. But So we can't holster our pistol, which is a bummer. I, I don't feel like grinding tailoring just to get access to a holster is very valuable. It probably is like tailoring four or five though. It's close. Cause I think uh, chitin armor is tailoring five. And if I can make chitin armor, I should be able to make a holster, right? Do I have any holsters? I might have a holster. I do not. We will try to get tailoring four. There's nothing easy to do that though, looks like. Everything takes 30 minutes to an hour. Oop, five minutes, no, that's tailoring too. Yeah, so I don't have anything quick and easy. Maybe if we come down here, it takes one minute and 43 seconds, but requires a lot of tools, which is not something I want. Um, 12 hours, geez. Uh, Although you are making arm guards from scratch. So again, tailoring is getting reworked at the moment. So a lot of things are going to be getting more difficult and take longer than they used to. Leather pouches? It's a tool belt. Yeah, but can you, no, you can't holster in a tool belt. Uh, none of these, okay, thread, but it requires leather or felt, which are not the easiest materials. Spear. Ah, I don't think it's worth grinding. So let's check our books. Uh, why don't we read all of our books? That way, of course, it's too dark. Oh, and I set them up far enough. Okay, just uh, haul them back to the unsorted pile for the moment. Let's start a fire and take a look through these books really quick so we at least have access to them so we can see their recipes and whatnot. Go ahead and activate. Where did my matches go? No matches. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where did, uh... Oh, they're on the tool pile. Of course, of course. I'm dumb. I just sorted everything. I forgot. Okay. Uh, we want to check our books. That way we get access to their recipes. And additionally, we will be able to see what skills they train. So just uh, quickly... No, don't do that. Quickly sort through these. Take a look at them. We have way more books than I thought we did. And the having a library nearby is pretty great. So we will be checking that out when we get there, of course, for lots of books. Not seeing anything tailory, which is not great. I'd rather read a book than grind tailoring. I saw a poor quality bandage. Oh no. Uh, in my effects menu, maybe from before. Oh, we're hot. Yeah, we are standing next to a fire. None of our body parts look particularly hot though. So I'm not sure why I would be getting slow down. Right leg, left leg, torso. Yeah, those are not hot at all. Uh, our torso is, yeah, I mean, I guess they're warm. I wouldn't expect slow down. And it's just because we're next to the fire, of course. So we'll uh, just ignore that and keep reading. All of these uh, mini reads do take a couple of minutes each, so this adds up when you have a lot of books like this. Uh, so what else? Um, yeah, I did the f little bit of faction guide stuff. I've really been enjoying learning about the different NPCs in the game. Um, if you're not aware of my YouTube channel, you should check it out. If you go to the info tab or whatever of my Twitch stream, should be a link in one of the panels to my YouTube channel. Recovering NPC factions, so like we started with the hub, which we've seen in this playthrough already. Just going over their missions, the strategies, and what they have to offer, things like that. 
And I've really been enjoying learning a lot more details about that. And it's been fun for the most part. I do think I'm bad at heavily edited content, but I can see that there's improvement. And it's always nice when you can literally look back at old something and see an improvement. So it's kind of like, let's say you're an artist and you pick up a piece of art you did when you were like 14 and you're like, man, I've come a long way. It's kind of like that. Uh, so I can look at my content from like a year ago and be like, holy crap, I've come a long way since then. Uh, but I'm never quite to the point where I'm like, I'm good enough. There's always more room for improvement. No, don't read Bon Appetit. Looking for a tailoring book. We have none. Excellent. We could raise bartering to get a little bit more value out of our hub. Man, it hurts that we don't have a, a higher tailoring book. So all of these are just tailoring one. Did you have recipes in them though? Maybe we got a holster out of it? No? Okay. Worth a try. So why don't we raise our bartering? Because I never ever do that. And I'm pretty sure it gives you a significant price increase as you level up. Not sure though. But uh, it's just going to take a little bit of time, not a super big deal. We should probably eat and drink though, huh? Let's uh, pop out and actually eat some of the meat we have. Because it's just been sitting in our freezer for several days. So give me like three chunks of meat. Preferably the ones that are not frozen for some reason. We'll try cooking them. I don't know why they're not freezing, but I'm getting concerned about it because they're going to go bad. So let's make uh, just some cooked meat. We don't have uh, any cooking skill either, so it's not like something we could really do. Wouldn't Marksman 1 give you access to the holster? I have absolutely no idea. I assumed it was tailoring. Um, there is some stuff like that that's sort of weird. Cooked meat, cooked meat, cooked meat. Hopefully we don't vomit. Great. And we'll try drinking some water as well. Hopefully it doesn't push us over the brink. And we'll even hold off on drinking for a while. Uh, gives a chance for to get free stuff or be in debt, I think. What, bartering you mean? He needs tailoring three and marksman one for the regular holster recipe. Thank you. I did not want to have to pop out to uh, bring up the item browser. It's, um, marksman is not something we can really focus on, I don't think. It's literally just, we got to murder stuff. We are pretty close. Can you craft anything that's for marksman? No, I would not think so. Um, just go back to reading bartering. Again, it's just something I've never raised, and it's not like I'm doing anything else, so... We'll read for a bit, and we're immediately back to very hungry, because that's also pretty broken. You have a guns and ammo there. That's an excellent point. You're right, I do have a marksman book. Thank you kindly. Everyone is paying more attention than I am, and that is uh, extremely helpful. Thank you kindly. So we'll... Uh, We'll read that to get ourselves a holster. We are tired at this point. You can no longer learn from guns and ammo. Excellent. Holster. I assume I need leather. It's a back holster? Mmm. Mmm. Big enough for a rifle or other long gun designed to be strapped on the back. That's not really what I'm looking for. Why uh, Why would I be able to make that but not a regular holster? Aren't they functionally identical? One's just smaller than the other one? Hmm. I'm going to uh, give myself a quick Google here so I can actually look at it in front of me. Bad brain. Fail. Okay. Well, we'll see. Item browser. And uh, looking for a holster. Should be able to pull this up without issues. I don't think I have anything inappropriate. So, uh, just a regular holster. Craft requires pistol. What? What an odd requirement. Uh, but okay, it requires pistol one. What else do we have? Fast draw holster. Deep concealment holster. I assume that's just a lower encumbrance. Fast draw holster. Also pistol one. That's odd, I've never seen these. Quick draw holster for small guns. So I'm assuming it doesn't say the moves to draw something from it. That's interesting. 
Deep concealment, elastic band with numerous provisions for concealing a small pistol in the body. It's awkward to use without practice. Uh, close to the skin and layers well. So that would mean it wouldn't conflict with a lot of other things. Oh, my, my computer sounds like an engine is taking off because it's... Uh, because I have uh, Chrome open while I'm doing things. So anyway, uh, Pistols 1, huh? Do I have a Pistols book? Do, 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 do. Handguns to 1, I do. 